Howdy folks, I'm Tex, and welcome back to the Movie Shack. Today we once again dive headfirst into the film vault to take a look at some of the early works of acclaimed filmmaker Sean McClain. Now this time around is a very special one indeed because it's actually the Sad to say it, but the final episode of Spiffy, The Little Orange Car. Yep, there were plans to do more, but alas, this is as far as it went. Now, you may recall last time we left off with one doozy of a cliffhanger. Spiffy had actually been nailed by the law, suffered a horrible crash, and then was condemned to the junkyard. Last we saw, he was being hiked into the trash compactor, and then some other Little Orange Car came along and threw himself in there after him. What the heck is going on there? Well, let's not waste any time. Let's get into the next exciting episode, the grand finale of Spiffy, Little Orange Car. Hi, Nick, Joe. That was a close call. Hey, I've got an idea. Man, that was one exciting episode. I gotta say, I mean, Spiffy really went out with a bang. If there was gonna be a kick-ass final episode, well, that was a good one to go out on. Although, I gotta say, uh, I'm a little curious about his new friend. We never found out his name. I don't even know if Sean had a name planned for him or not. But it would have been interesting to see where things had gone from there. Have the two of them teaming up to take on the law and have a good time. Man. Now, there was a couple of minor technical issues that occurred during that production, most specifically when Sean was dubbing the voices later. You may have noticed that when they went to the police station, which apparently was populated by Empire Strikes Back fans, go figure, Spiffy and his little buddy were let off with just a warning. Well, that's all fine and dandy, but when they're leaving, you hear the dialogue, and the dialogue is horribly mistimed. See, let, let me see if I can explain the way it's supposed to play out and the way it's supposed to be, but for some reason, due to an error of timing that Sean just never bothered to correct, it played out wrong. Okay, this is the way it's supposed to go. They're in the police station, and they're talking to the police chief. They're not talking to the cop that caught them. They're talking to the chief, okay? And then the chief says, I'll let you off with just a warning. So the chief lets them go. So as they're leaving, the cop that caught them, the one we always see chasing them, comes out and he's like, hmm, just a warning. What the hell? That's a bunch of crap. So then Spiffy and his buddy take off, and they say, That's right, just a warning, hee hee hee. But, the way it's timed, it looks like the cop is saying that after Spiffy and his buddy have left. Like somehow the cop's happy that they got let off with just a warning. But I guess maybe he would be kind of happy about that, because it just means he can chase him around more, and certainly seems to get his jollies that way. Alright, so next time we got another epic two-part saga for you, this time entitled The Race. Now, I'm a big race fan, so... When I heard that Sean had done a race movie, huh, I couldn't wait to check this sucker out. And that's what we're going to do next time on The Movie Shack. Until then, I'm Tex, and this is The Movie Shack. Thanks for watching.